Fenster. Shall we then, uh, the scientists, especially our own scientists, to wake up uh, and deal with these uh, problems instead of just sitting and waiting for others to do the work? I congratulate JCRC for the uh, bone marrow trans trans transplant center, which we have just opened here. Uh, the writer, that's how they call the bone marrow. So Dr. Chitio has educated me how they are going to do it. And, and as Professor Mindra was saying, when it is done here, it will be much cheaper than when you do it outside. I therefore congratulate you on that. In remembering that it is very important for even new technologies such as gene therapies to be put in the hands of the people who need to bring them to their own populations. And so, with this in mind, Dr. Kitio and I founded the Global Gene Therapy Initiative to create a team of experts who could guide Uganda to lead as they led in the HIV epidemic. So by 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 editing ed editing some of these uh, genes which are susceptible to this or the other one, these genes. Now these scientists, because they they, they they have the chain, the whole chain, the whole chain of the genes, they can see it. And they can know which one is causing problems or, or and deal with that one. The annual number of new HIV infections is 52,000. And out of the estimated 1.4 million people living with HIV, approximately 95% are on treatment with antiretroviral therapy. And close to 95% of those on treatment have achieved viral suppression, which not only improved the life of the individuals, but also reduces the transmission of HIV. And most of the new infections are occurring in the young population, which also has a lower treatment adherence and a lower viral suppression than the older age cohorts. The average HIV prevalence in the country is 5.5% among people aged 15 to 49 years. The improvement in the HIV statistics in our country has been achieved through a multi-sector approach and in partnership with our development partners. The Joint Clinical Research Center has made significant contribution on each step of the journey towards ending HIV AIDS as a public health threat, and we expect it to make a significant contribution in the last mile of this journey in ending AIDS by 2030. We received the first paper for grant in the world to roll out HIV treatment. PEPFA has saved over 24 million people worldwide, especially in limited resource settings. I touch a bit on research. Your Excellency, research has been at the heart of JCRC's mission from the very beginning, and those are some of the objectives why you set us up. Our researchers have worked and will continue to work tirelessly to discover new insights, treatment, and solutions to some of the most challenging health issues facing our nation and region. JCRC has been part of groundbreaking research that has contributed to global knowledge and informed change of policy and guidelines and the course of the medicines we are taking. JCRC conducted the first HIV vaccine trial in Sub-Saharan Africa to prevent and treat HIV. JCRC conducted the first research project using antiretroviral drugs 
in sub-Saharan Africa. JCRC is now leading the first study in Africa across Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, eight sites. We are evaluating new HIV drugs, which are given as injections every two months instead of taking pills every day. Today you have launched the bone marrow transplant, which has been established with hard-earned savings by JCRC. We still need to equip it to reach the international standards that we always want to attain. The groundbreaking of the gene therapy building will also require reasonable resources to establish. We are confident that we will again deliver because we know that where there is a will, a way will always be found. Churches, we have been involved in and the results or the, what has come out of those researches has been used to improve HIV care and treatment uh, world over. Currently, we take care of over 200,000 patients in various regions of, of this country. It is, however, appreciated that the drugs are very effective to the extent that blood tests may not even show presence of the virus and these patients are able to live longer and healthy lives with the virus still hiding in their bodies in HIV reserve cells. Meaning that even when they are enjoying, the virus is still there. And that is a very great concern for us here at the board of JCRC. There are cases where one is not able to continue on drugs. The virus then wakes up and comes even more strong. Therefore, we at JCRC understand this very well, and the JCRC board has laid down a number of key strategies to end this scenario.